everyone it's crochet by Beb welcome to my channel for this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this top before we start I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity it is the perfect place to start to learn and discover new skills from illustration drawing photography graphic design and many more skillshare is also a great resource to level up your skills you can take classes in crochet knitting embroidery sewing and other fiber crafts i am personally taking a crochet class of tony lipsy the first 1000 people to use the link in the description box will get a one month free trial of skillshare enjoy your skillshare free membership experience now let's move to the video let's start with the back panel the back panel start with the hem part the hem part consists of rows of single crochet then we we're going to continue with the stitch pattern the cluster v stitch i'm using here five colors of my yarn and it is a cotton yarn using cotton yarn it gives you a nice drape of this stitch it's up to you what yarn you're going to use or how many colors of yarn to make your top for the size decide how wide you want for your top so for me i want it to be a regular fit my back panel is half of my bust measurement so if you want it to be a regular fit you can start at least half of your bust measurement to make your back panel if you want your top to be a fitted you can uh, less a bit your half of your bust measurement or if you want it to be a bit bigger you can add more into your half of your bust measurement to start our back panel my back panel is 18 inches wide and i started here the foundation chainless single crochet and continue with the rows of single crochet and my hem is only one inch so it's up to you how long you want for your hem so that is your personal preference also and it depends also the yarn you are using if you're using a chunkier than my my fine yarn so it gives you only like couple of rows of single crochet in my hem i have five rows of single crochet and this is only one inch so it's up to you how long you want for your hem you can decide with your personal preference as you can see here i use five different colors of my yarn and i have only these tails to weave in as you know if you're working with a lot of colors changing colors every row it gives you a lot of ends to weave in but in this case i'm going to show you the technique how to carry up our tail or how to carry up the handwork yarn so that we don't need to cut every now and then our yarn and it gives us a lot of ends to weave in so i'm going to show you how to do here the changing of colors and the technique how to carry up our yarn going up so every time i'm going to change here i'm going to carry up my handwork yarn and then pick it up later when i'm going to use in the next rows the technique is works in old colors what i mean if you're using three colors five colors seven colors it's up to you this go going to be work but if you are using an even colors like two four colors only what you can do is you can just cut your yarn after you change color and then just carry up the tail here so that you don't have a lot of weaving of ends later so i'm going to show you that later how to do the carrying up of the tails or the underwork yard all right so we're going now to start with our foundation single crochet or the foundation chainless single crochet so for the pattern is multiple of three then plus one but if you want to start with a chain the pattern is multiple of three plus two and then in the second chain from your hook start your single crochet and then do your single crochet into the rest of your chains 
for my top i use a foundation chainless single crochet so i'm going to show you a foundation chainless single crochet and a pattern foundation single crochet is a multiple of three then plus one in my back panel i started 82 foundation chainless single crochet and it gives me 18 inches i'm going to swatch only a 16 stitches just to show you how to do foundation single crochet and the rest of the pattern so it's very important also you can do this also you can and make a uh, less of the stitches and then just measure that so you will know how many foundation single crochet you're going to do for your back pattern okay so i'm going to make a slip knot insert your hook then to make our foundations chainless single crochet we're going to make a chain two and then insert your hook into your first chain grab a yarn pull through one this first pull through one gives you your first chain this and then pull through two to complete our first single crochet this is your first single crochet okay to continue insert your hook under these chains that you made these two loops at the bottom grab a yarn then make your chain pull through one that is your chain then pull through two to complete your single crochet now you have two single crochet and just repeat like that just insert your hook the two loops at the bottom this is your chain then grab a yarn pull through one to make your chain and then complete you have now one two three single crochet so just repeat like this to do your foundation chainless single crochet till you reach the desired wide of your back panel okay so i'm going to swatch 16 stitches here all right so when you are done your foundation single crochet in my back panel i have a total of 82 foundation single crochet and this is only 18 inches so i have here my 16 foundation single crochet for the swatch so when you are done your foundation single crochet just chain one and turn into your first stitch make a single crochet and continue single crochet into all your stitches okay so you're going to repeat this for more rows to make your hem so it's only a rows of single crochet for the hem part it's up to you how long you want for your hem so mine it's only five rows and it's only one inch okay so just do single crochets then when you're here in your last stitch just chain one and turn then continue single crochet again into your stitches okay so do this a few more rows until you reach the desired length for your hem Alright, so when you are done your hem in here into your last stitch, we're going now to change color. So I'm going to change color here to start my cluster V stitch. So I'm going to insert this color to finish my last single crochet. And then what I'm gonna do because I'm using also this color, so I'm carrying it up in this side, my white yarn so that i don't need to cut it and have a lot of ends to weave in but you can do also just cut it and then insert your yarn here into your last stitch okay if you are cutting yarn you can just cut and then the tail you can just carry up like this so i'm going to carry up the tail of this pink yarn and my white yarn so to start our stitch pattern here we're going to make a chain two and this chain two doesn't count as a stitch okay so we're going to carry up this and work yarn here the tail and the white yarn just insert your hook under that then grab a yarn then make your chain two then turn then we're now going to start our cluster v stitch so we're going to start with a double crochet here into the first stitch the chain two doesn't count as a stitch okay so we start double crochet here into the first stitch 
and then we're going to skip two stitches one two and then here we're going to work at two double crochet two together chain two then two double crochet together that is the cluster b stitch okay so insert your yarn here or your hook then grab a yarn don't finish your double crochet insert again in the same then pull through two now you have three and then pull all the three loops you have now your first double crochet two together okay and then chain two then in the same stitch make again two double crochet together Three loops on the hook and yarn all over the three loops now you have your cluster b stitch first done so that is how you make a cluster b stitch okay so we're just uh, repeating this stitch pattern into the rest of our stitches so again just skip two and here into your next stitch your third stitch skipping two and here we do the cluster b stitch yarn over insert into that stitch grab a yarn pull two loops don't finish your double crochet yarn over insert grab a yarn pull through two now you have two loops and the hook yarn over in the three loops so remember between the cluster b stitch there is no chains okay only here into the cluster b stitch so here chain two then make your two double crochet together in the same stitch okay so just repeat this into all your stitches until you reach your last three stitches then just put only one double crochet into your last stitch just skipping two then once double crochet here into the last stitch okay so just skip two do your cluster b stitch here and then just repeat the pattern then when you are here into your last three stitches just skip two and in here into your last stitch do your one double crochet then i don't finish my double crochet because i'm going to change yarn so i'm going to insert my next color so this color just hold like this then insert to finish your double crochet here to your last stitch and now i'm going to use now this and wrap my first color or this pink yarn so i'm going to chain two for the turning chain and then i'm going to carry up this tail and my pink yarn so again just insert your hook under in the two loops and then make your chains two chains then turn then continue your next row so we're going to work here into the first stitch double crochet and then here into the chain two from your last round work your cluster v stitch so insert your hook in there and make your cluster v stitch two double crochet together then chain two then another two double crochet together in the same space this chain two space here okay then just go here and make again your cluster b stitch so just simply skip these two stitches okay so the pattern of this stitch it's very simple and easy to make
okay so here into your last stitch just make your one double crochet and then we're going to carry these tails and the first yarn the white yarn so yarn over so insert your hook here into your last stitch including also your handwork yarn or your tail just go under into that also and then grab your yarn and then make your double crochet but since then here i'm going to change again my yarn so i'm going to drop this and take my next yarn my next yarn is the white yarn so i'm going to take now this yarn and finish my double crochet so when you are doing this just keep a bit of loose here so that it don't squeeze much your sides okay so continue our next row so we're going to chain two again for our turning chain and then we're going to carry these tails and handwork yarn here so just insert your hook under into that to carry it up and then make your chain two then turn as you can see getting up also this handwork and tail yarn and then continue again here into your next row into this row double crochet into the first stitch then cluster b stitch into the chain two spaces okay so it's very simple to make this cluster b stitch Okay, again here you're going to make your double crochet here into the last stitch to do insert your hook into that last stitch and then these two handwork yarn put like this and then make your double crochet so before i finish my double crochet i'm going to change yarn so i'm going to insert this color then drop the tail and i'm going to make a chain two for the 13 chain so i'm carrying up all these yarns so i'm going to insert my hook under all into that and make my chain two and then turn as you can see here you're carrying up all your handwork yarn okay so it's very simple and easy to make so it's not very complicated how to do here so you don't have a lot of weaving of ends you can see this is the tail from my first stitch so just repeat this pattern double crochet to your first stitch cluster v stitch into the chain two spaces and into your last stitch just do your double crochet and before that just change your yarn before finishing your double crochet and carrying up your handwork yarn here at the side okay so it's very simple how to do the changing of colors and carrying up all the handwork yarn or the tails to make it less weaving of ends later okay so i have only these tails and the other side in the last row all right so just continue making your cluster v stitch until you reach the desired length before your armhole so this is the armhole so just continue the stitch pattern until you reach here so in my top i have only 15 rows total start from here my first cluster v stitch 15 rows and this is only 8 inches together with my hem okay so it's up to you how long you want your top before making the armhole okay when you are done the desired length of your top before creating the decrease for the armhole just cut your yarn here because we're going now to start our stitches into the decrease stitch okay here so now i'm going to show you how to do the decrease all right for the decrease of the armhole just take a measurement how open you want for the armhole so mine is two inches and then two inches also in this side so i started my next stitch or next row here you can see i skip these stitches so just cut also one two three and then one two three so i'm going to stop in this stitch just put your stitch marker here so you know where to stop your double crochet okay so it's very simple just insert your yarn here and on top of this double crochet two together to start your double crochet and then continue your cluster v stitch here into the next chain two space here 
okay and remember to turn your work because we work our last row in this side so we're going to work into the other side so just turn your work and start your decrease here okay as you can see this is my last row and i'm going to turn then i'm going to start here my decrease so i'm going to insert my yarn here so i'm going to insert here into the double crochet two together stitch insert my yarn just going to tie and then make a chain two doesn't count as a stitch then do your double crochet and then here into your first chain two space do your cluster v stitch and then just continue your stitch pattern till the other side of your decrease so i'm going to stop in this stitch just put also your one double crochet okay so and then continue again the stitch pattern just the same just chain two and then turn then do your first double crochet here into the first stitch remember just carry up also the handwork yarn here at the side okay so it's totally the same so continue your stitch pattern to make the rest of your top until you reach the desired length until your shoulder part for your top so this is my back panel so my back panel has a total of 30 rows start from my cluster visit row here until into my last row it's 30 rows and this is 16 inches including my hem okay so it's up to you how long you want for your top so you're going to start the measurement then when you are reach the desired length of your back panel then just fasten up your yarn here okay in the side and then we're going to continue to make the front panel all right so when you are done your back panel we're going now to make the front panel the front panel is the same way to start we're going to start with the hem the foundation chainless single crochet and rows of single crochet then do the cluster v stitch until you reach the decrease for the armhole so here put your stitch markers into the decrease stitch and also in this side Okay. You can avail these cute stitch markers in my Etsy shop. For the decrease for our front panel, put your stitch marker here for the decrease in the armholes. And then from here and here into the decrease for the armhole, divide your stitches into two. So I have here. So if you have a one cluster V stitch extra, you can put your marker here in the middle okay so for me i have equal division of my stitches okay so start your decrease here in the armhole then continue your stitch pattern until here when you reach the stitch marker the half of your stitches i'm now going to decrease for the v neckline so here into your last cluster we're now only putting two double crochet two together and then put one double crochet here okay so before i finish my double crochet i'm going to insert my next color which is this green okay so i'm going to carry this handwork yarn and my tail it's the same way just chain two for the turning chain doesn't count as a stitch then turn then we do the decrease again here on this side we're going to do now is we're going to put double crochet two together in this first stitch and on top of this two double crochet two together stitch this one and two going to put two double crochet together like that and then continue your stitch pattern cluster v stitch into the chain two spaces okay continue until you reach here just put your one double crochet here into your last stitch then change yarn carry up yarn then continue your next row then i'm going to show you again when we are here into the last cluster i'm going to show you how to do the decrease 
okay so i'm going to continue this all right so when you are here into the last cluster v stitch put only two double crochet together then two double crochet together on top of this stitch and this stitch your last stitch so i'm going to carry this then i'm going to change my yarn and i'm going to chain two and carry these yarns then turn then we're going to decrease now we're going to repeat the decrease of this decrease this is the decrease first decrease second and then third so we're going to repeat this second decrease make a two double crochet two together between your first and second stitch just the same here in your second decrease okay so here unfinish then put into your next stitch and complete your double crochet two together okay so just repeat the decrease to the second decrease here then continue your cluster v stitch into the rest of your stitches then into the next row when you are here on this side again copy the decrease in your third decrease this white so I'm going to show you once more again. So continue your stitches. Okay, so here we're going now to make again the decrease. So copy the decrease from your third decrease, this. So just repeat second and third decrease, this decrease. Okay, so here into the V stitch, just make two double crochet together. And then on top of this and this last stitch, double crochet together. Okay, so I'm going to change yarn here. I'm going to pick now my pink. Then carry all this handwork yarn also. then turn so that chain two there okay so here it's totally fine because we're going to make the border for the neckline so again in this decrease repeat decrease two this or this the first stitch and into the second stitch double crochet two together and then into the first cluster make your first v stitch cluster okay so i hope it's clear now how to do the decrease so just do the decrease or repeat decrease to make the rest of the decrease until you reach the same row for your front panel okay all right i'm done my first side of the v-neck so here if you have already a thinner left for the shoulder you can just stop decreasing and then just go straight your last rows okay so when you are done your first side now we're going to continue here we're going to insert our yarn here so i stop in this stitch so i'm going to insert my yarn here then start with chain two that's on corners of stitch and then it's the same put two double crochet two together in this first chain two space then jump here into your next three cluster stitch and do your your cluster v stitch okay so continue your stitches until here into the armhole decrease and then change color and then when you are here i'm going to show you how to do the decrease 
so it's the same also but i'm going to show you okay so for the decrease in this side so it's the same also here your second decrease here in this side but we're now doing in this side so make your last cluster v stitch here and then on top of this stitch and into your last stitch double crochet two together I'm going to carry up this and then I'm going to change my yarn and then chain two carrying up this unwork yarn then turn then do the decrease like here make a two double crochet two together in your first and second stitch then make two double crochet two together in this chain two space so only one two double crochet two together just like this okay so only the difference is we're making now in this side so it's the same you can just copy the pattern here if you are confused then continue your stitches so continue your decrease in this side so just repeat decrease two and three to make your decrease on this side till you reach the, the same row and then cut your yarn so here just leave a bit a long tail of your last yarn so you have a yarn tail to use for the sewing in the shoulder seat so i'm going to finish this side so if you are confused just copy the same stitches here to make the decrease so when you are here and this decrease just do your last cluster v stitch here and double crochet two together these last two stitches it's the same in this decrease two in this second decrease okay so hope it's clear already how to decrease in this side you can look here in the other side okay so i'm going to finish my decrease for the neckline here then i'm going to show you how to put all together our panel all right if you are done with your v neckline now we're going to attach our front panel to the back panel the stitch pattern of our top is reversible as you can see so it doesn't matter where is your good side or bad side so just decide flip your back panel into the good side up and then put your back panel good side down so the good sides are facing now each other and then so the shoulders using your long tail of yarn so just or oh, the sun it's just uh, sew using your yarn needle and sew here into the stitches okay and then also in the other side yes use also the long tail and sew here then when you are done here so also in the sides okay so i'm going to sew now my shoulder seam and the sides all right so when you are done sewing the sides and the shoulder seam now we're going to make the armhole borders all right so now i'm going to show you how to do the armhole borders so it's very easy i made here a rows of single crochet first all the way around and then three rows of single crochet double crochet skip one single crochet double crochet so just repeat like that all the way around for three rounds and this is my border so it's it's very simple so i'm going to show you how to make here in the other side so just insert your yarn here into your corner in this lower sorry it's already dark now the video is a bit dark all right so insert your yarn here and then just chain one then make a single crochet in this same stitch and then continue single crochet all the way around you can see these stitches you can put single crochet here and here you have the two chains so this is the first and this is the second i'm just going to put here the other one single crochet and then here in the next stitches okay so just do all single crochet here and then in this side you 
you can just put single crochet and you can see the distance when you are doing your single crochet if it's too far or too near your single crochet you can see here if you are going to put your single crochet okay so i'm just going to show you here so it's just randomly put your single crochet you can see the distance of your single crochet when you're putting your single crochet here okay so just do all single crochet all the way around to the borders and then when we are here just put your last single crochet and then we're going to slip stitch here into our first single crochet then we're going to turn and i'm going to show you how to do the next round all right so when you are done all your single crochet all the way around so just slip stitch here into your first stitch then i'm going to chain one as on canvas stitch then turn then i'm going to start my single crochet here into the first stitch and then here into the next stitch put single crochet and double crochet single crochet double crochet then we're going to skip one then into the next stitch single crochet double crochet okay so we're going to repeat this all the way around just skip one single crochet double crochet skip one single crochet double crochet okay so just go around to make your skip one single crochet double crochet if you end with single crochet double crochet just slip stitch into the first stitch here our single crochet this okay so just repeat this single crochet double crochet all the way around and we're going to slip stitch here into the first stitch and then chain one and turn your work all right so here in my last stitch i'm just going to put one single crochet and then i'm going now to slip stitch here into my first stitch then chain one then turn and then it's the same pattern just put single crochet into your first stitch then on top of your double crochet we're going to work the single crochet then double crochet in the same stitch okay and then just skip one this single crochet and then work your single crochet double crochet on top of the double crochet okay so you skip one on top of the double crochet make your single crochet and double crochet okay so do this all the way around then end your stitch here just slip stitch into your first stitch chain one and turn and do again the same stitch pattern then in my borders i only put three rounds of this then first the single crochet then three rounds of this stitch pattern so this is how it's gonna look like so i'm just going to put a total of four rounds for my armhole border so it's up to you if you want thicker border you can add more into your rounds of uh, single crochet double crochet skip one and then just slip stitch and cut your yarn to finish your borders okay and also here in my neckline i'm going to put a collar it's the same stitch pattern i'm going to put first single crochet all the way around here into the neckline and then do also the stitch pattern this it's the same the single crochet then double crochet skip one so i'm going to show you also how to start then just continue okay all right so when you are done your armhole borders now start with your v-neckline color so i start here with the single crochet so just uh, insert your yarn here and make your single crochet all the way around into your neckline and then until you reach here just slip stitch here into the first stitch so this is only for the first round this single crochet okay the next round you don't need to slip stitch to form the color so it's going to be like that okay so only in this first round just slip stitch just to close between these stitches okay when you are done your first round also all single crochet turn your work then chain one to start your next round so here in your first stitch single crochet then next stitch single crochet and double crochet so it's the same stitch pattern and we're going to skip this in the next stitch single crochet double crochet okay skip 
the next is stitch single crochet double crochet so it's the same stitch pattern from our armhole borders okay so do this all the way around and then here when you are done just finish with the single crochet or the yeah the single crochet and then chain one and turn then go back around and make more rows of this stitch pattern okay so you don't need to slip stitch again when you are here Okay, so only the first round do the slip stitch. Then when you are here, just uh, chain one, turn, and then do again your next round. Then when you are here, chain one, turn, make another round. Okay, so just repeat that. I'm coming back to show you how many rows that I make for my V neckline collar. Alright, so I'm done my collar, and this is a total of 13 rounds, and it's, it is. 3.5 inches so it's up to you if you want more wider color you can do that when you are done just fasten up your yarn and weep all your ends then you are done with your top all right so thank you so much for joining me making this top hope you enjoy making your top you can share your work with me in my instagram at crochet by beb and hope to see you again next time don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video and happy crochet everyone bye